What scores do you need to get into medical school? That's a question we're going to cover in this video. Hey everyone, if you're new here, my name is Adam Nessam and I'm the founder of the Pre-Med Consultants, a pre-med coaching program that helps students every step of the way until they get into medical school. So first, I want to break down some statistics by the AMC, and then I'm going to talk about how you should approach applying to medical school based on your own MCAT and GPA. Okay, so let's get into it. First off, based on table A1 of the AMC applicants and matriculants data, it shows that there were 62,443 applicants and 22,666 matriculants. This means that the overall percentage of pre-med students that applied to medical school and matriculated was about 36% in 2021, which is down from about 40% in previous years. This means that every year, more than half of the students that apply to medical school do not get in. Now, this is not to scare you, and if you put in the hard work and are committed to the field and learn how to properly study and take this very seriously, I find that most students who do that eventually find success and do get into medical school. However, it is important to know the reality of how competitive getting into medical school can be and why you really need to know that you're passionate and dedicated to this field before pursuing it or trying to figure that out as you continue to pursue it. Okay, so now let's get into the numbers a little bit more. I know everyone likes to know the numbers, so we're going to go over that. Now, the average MCAT score of a student applying to medical school in 2021 was a 505.9 with a standard deviation of 9.7. The mean GPA of an allopathic student applying to medical school was 3.59 with a standard deviation of 0.34. However, the average science GPA was lower than that at 3.48 with a standard deviation of 0.44. Now, something interesting to note is that in 2021, the average MCAT score was about a 501, which means that the average applicant that applied to medical school actually had a higher MCAT score than the average of all students who took the MCAT for that year. However, this was just data for students applying to medical school. Now let's look at the students that actually end up matriculating to medical school. The average MCAT score of the matriculants to US allopathic medical schools was a 511.9 with a standard deviation of 6.5. The average cumulative GPA was a 3.74 with an standard deviation of 0.25 and a science GPA of 3.67 and a standard deviation of 0.31. Now, there's a ton of other statistics that we can go into breaking down cohorts by gender, race, ethnicity, location, socioeconomic status. And if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. And it's also important to note that these are only statistics from the AMC. So they're for allopathic medical schools. But if you'd like me to do another video breaking down osteopathic medical schools, which generally don't have as high of GPA and MCAT averages, let me know in the comments. And if there's interest, I'll definitely make a video on that as well. So overall, it is clear that getting into medical school is an extremely competitive process and you need to do well academically to get it. With that said, if you do not hit those mean numbers, that absolutely Absolutely does not signify you won't get into medical school. At the Pre-Med Consultants, we have helped tons of students who have come to us with significantly lower GPA and MCAT scores than the quote-unquote average. And while we help them make significant improvements and change around their study habits for both the classes and the MCAT, so that they can get better scores. Sometimes it's hard to completely turn around a GPA that had years of poor grades prior. So if you had three years of C's and B's, it's hard to get that up to that 3.5, 3.7. But that does not mean that they weren't able to get into medical school, and we have successfully gotten many of these students into medical school. So if you are determined to become a doctor, I recommend that you do not give up on your dream, even if you don't have the average MCAT score. Remember, an average is just that. It's an average. This means that there will be a ton of students that have above that 511 about average MCAT and end up matriculating to medical school. But there will also be many students at these medical schools that have below that average. And in the end, a number is just a number. I would not let it define you as a person and prevent you from chasing your dreams. I would just use it as an indicator of if you think that you're doing your absolute best. And deep down, you probably know if you've been putting in a full effort and really taking the time to try and perfect your studying and dedicate time to your classes and the MCAT. And if you have clearly shown an upward trend in your GPA, and if you've put an appropriate plan in place to study for the MCAT and are doing decently, but don't hit that average number that scares so many students, even though at the end of the day, it really should and it doesn't mean as much as you might think, then you might be in a position where it's time to apply for medical school. You also have to remember that there are many other factors that go into one's application. This includes shadowing and clinical experience, how you portray your narrative in the personal statement and on the application 
application as a whole and how you come across in the interview. And there's many more factors that go into it. Numbers are just one small piece of the puzzle, although it is important to show that you can do well academically so that medical schools are not concerned that if they accept you, you're at risk of failing out from their school. So hopefully this video has given you some insights on the average scores that students are applying to medical school with, but also that I drove home the point that scores are not everything. And with that said, if you would like to get help improving your GPA, getting the best MCAT prep that is built around evidence-based learning strategies and help throughout the entire admissions process until you get into medical school, then click the link below this video and you can schedule a call with myself or someone from my team and we will see how we can help you improve as a pre-med student and get into medical school. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you're getting value from this channel and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>